Empire. Pompeii is an ancient Roman city. It is located in southern Italy, off the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. It is a port city on the Gulf of Naples. Pompeii was oval-shaped with a grid layout. It was surrounded by a high wall with seven gates. It had a rectangular-shaped covered market. A temple dedicated to multiple gods. A courthouse. A wrestling school. An amphitheater. And several other city buildings. Pompeii was a very popular destination for first century Romans. Pompeii had entertainment such as gladiator games, plays, musical concerts, and religious celebrations. It had running water for public bathhouses and fountains. Citizens even enjoyed a form of central heating and cooling. The people of Pompeii were separated by social classes, which ranged from the wealthy to the poor. The wealthy were at the top of the social class, and the poor were at the bottom. Being a member of the wealthy class in Pompeii was a very big responsibility. The rich were responsible for taking care of the poor and providing for their needs. At that time in history, it was very different from other cities because other cities treated poor people very badly. Citizens of Pompeii had a good life enjoying their shops, brothels, gardens, temples, and entertainment. Mount Vesuvius overlooks Pompeii. It is on the crater of the Soma volcano. Mount Vesuvius is the only active volcano on the mainland of Europe. Before it destroyed Pompeii, Mount Vesuvius gave warning signs. There had been earthquakes and visible clouds of dust in the days before the eruption, but citizens did not know what the signs meant. Inside Vesuvius, molten rock from the Earth's crust was blocked from exiting, causing pressure to build inside. The pressure was responsible for the eruption. At 10 a.m. on August 24, 79 A.D., Mount Vesuvius erupted. A giant mushroom cloud filled the air. The sky was black from nine miles of volcanic rock shooting straight up and blocking the sun. Ash and magma met in the air, causing volcanic lightning. For over 24 hours, the volcano erupted, dumping more than 4 billion tons of material, burying Pompeii and its citizens. Men, women, children, and animals ran in terror. Some people prayed, and others tried to find their families. The eruption was more powerful than the bomb that hit Hiroshima. A survivor that witnessed the destruction was Pliny the Younger. Pliny was a Roman writer and wrote about the eruption in letters. Describing the rock and gas, he says, shot up to a great height in the form of a very tall trunk, which spread itself out at the top in sort of branches. More than 16,000 people died in the eruption. The people in the city inhaled hot gas and ash, filling their lungs with fluid. After pumice and ash fell over the city, it rained. The rainwater mixed with the pumice and ash, creating mud. The mud preserved the bodies of those killed in the destruction. The bodies of Pompeii are full of bones, but today they appear lifelike because a team of archaeologists have created molds by pouring plaster into soft cavities in the ash more than 30 feet beneath Earth's surface. In the 16th century, while digging an underground waterline, Pompeii was rediscovered. 
to unearth the remains, the first systematic excavations took place around 1738. Excavations offer a unique picture into daily life in an ancient Roman city. Only about 120 acres have been excavated. The buildings, art, artifacts, and bodies are frozen in time. Pompeii had many inventions that were state of the art. Their inventions inspired modern history. We learn things about running water, sewer systems, and architecture. Some of the designs of ancient Pompeii buildings are used today, like circular shaped theaters with tiered seats. Many tourists from around the world visit the ruins of Pompeii to see what life was like 2,000 years ago. When I walked into the city center and saw all the bodies, I started to cry. Mount Vesuvius was huge. They had a lot of the modern conveniences that we have today. I couldn't believe how they used art to communicate in the market. It was a lot of destruction. Way more interesting than I ever thought. Yeah.